Hi Capricorns, this is your bonus love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, so the first message card that I have for you Capricorns is, I am sorry, and it is called grudges, anger issues, holding on to resentment, tit for tat, and attitude. We also have selfish, their needs come first, their way or the highway think they're always right we have little effort don't invest much time lazy courtship little to no initiative and then we have sacrifices compromise open-minded flexibility giving up something all right capricorn so this is either your energy or your person's energy but someone feels like you know what I'm tired of being the one to sacrifice my feelings, my emotions, and my effort in this connection. You feel like someone um, doesn't act like they want this. Okay, you may be wondering why this person doesn't call you a lot. Don't make the effort to see you more. Don't take you out. Um, some, it's like you want them to do something to show that they want this connection. And they're not putting in any effort here. Um, you see this person as being selfish and very um, egotistical. It's like they only think about themselves. And I feel like either you're holding a grudge against this person or they're holding a grudge against you. Whatever has happened here, I feel like you're fed up and you're tired of it. Um, and some of you may be walking away from this connection or you're starting to pull back your feelings. So if you haven't fully walked away yet, um, I feel like that's what you're thinking about doing. I feel like some of you are trying to give this person a chance to come forward to see if things are going to change, but you're getting tired, okay? Also, I'm picking up the energy that some of you may have more than one person to choose from, and you're trying to figure out if you're going to stay with this person that you're feeling this way about, or if you're going to go towards the new person, okay? So let's jump into your reading, and let's see what else the universe has to say. What messages do you have for Capricorns? All right. So the first two cards, they can, yeah, wow. See, I feel like you want to work on this and someone else is in hangman energy. So we have the eight of pentacles here. So some of you could be dealing with another earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. And we have Pisces energy. So someone is not, like I said with the message cards, they're not putting in any effort or they're giving very little effort. Now, I'm also picking up that whoever you guys are dealing with, this person may live with someone else. They may be committed in another situation because you see this person hanging outside the home. It's like they won't move away from this house or this uh, living situation that they have with this other person. And it's like you need for them to um, come together with you in order for you guys to work on things with this eight of pentacles. But it's going to be kind of hard because I feel like this person is tied down elsewhere. They could live with this person. They could have children. This could be a marriage, um, a marriage situation. And I feel like that's what's keeping this person um, in hangman status. It's like this person is trying to think like they're trying to come to some perspective about how to handle this. But they know you require a commitment. So we have the devil here. So you pulled your own card here. I feel like this person is addicted to you or you guys have a strong bond that you're not ready to give up on. Some of you could be dealing with another Capricorn or there's a lot of lust, temptation, sexual addiction, and fantasy between the two of you, um, but you can't see how to make this work. You can't see how to move it forward. So right now, this situation may seem very toxic to you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn? All right, so we have the Page of Cups. So I see a love offer coming, possibly from a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. But you may be looking at this offer like it's not good enough, Capricorn, because the person is offering you um, love at the level of a page and not a king or a queen. So I feel like you're questioning it. Okay, this card wanted to flip upside down and turn around. Oh, okay. So re the reason why a lot of this is happening is the Seven of Swords. Someone is being sneaky. It's like they don't know what they want. I feel like they're trying to come up with a plan, but they're not telling you what it is. And you want this plan that this person is coming up with because there's a lot of books here. So I feel like this person is either studying something, they're studying you. I don't feel like they're studying a book or anything like that. 
I mean, they could be reading a book. Who knows, right? But I don't think so. I just feel like this person is just taking a lot of time to think to themselves, trying to figure out what it is that they want to do, but they're not telling you anything. So it's like they're keeping you hanging. All right, so we have the lovers here. Yeah, needing to make a decision. So the like when I just said, they're keeping you hanging, like with the lovers card coming out. Some of you could be dealing with the Gemini. We also have with the seven of swords, um, Aquarius and Libra energy. But this person, it's like they're trying to make a decision about this, but I feel like they're not talking to you about it. I'm just picking up somebody that's extremely stubborn here. But there is a lot of love here because the lovers is twin flame energy. So this could be your twin flame where you guys are meant to have this connection. Give me one second. Card fell on the floor. You're meant to have this connection with this person. Yeah, they keeps this person keeps trying to offer you something. But I feel like the issue here... We have the page of pentacles and the page of cups. So this person could be messaging you, okay, offering you something. And you're like, no, that's not enough. This is not what I want. It's like they try to come in. They try to hold a conversation with you. They try to talk you through something, I guess, to get back in your good graces. And you're like, no, because you're still not offering me a commitment. Some of you could be dealing with a younger earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or a younger water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. And whatever they're offering you is still not enough. And I feel like some of you are ready to just move away from this person. All right, so we have the world card. Yeah, some of you, either you're, you're ready to end this or you ended something already. And the Six of Swords, you're ready to move away from this. And I feel like this person is trying to keep you there, but they're not offering you what you want. All right, so let's see. Spirit, what does Capricorn's person want them to know? Okay, cards are flying out of the deck left and right. All right, so we have the Seven of Cups, we have the Sun, and we have the King of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with an uh, Earth, I'm sorry, not an Earth sign. A fire sign. So maybe you could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the sun card here. Possibly a Leo. And this person has other options. And this is why they're. it's like they're trying to keep you. But they have other people that they're dealing with. And this is what's pissing you off. Because you're like, okay, if you have someone else, like, what you want with me? <laughs> it's like, why are you trying to hang on to me if you have other people that you're dealing with? Spirit, what does Capricorn's person want them to know? Oh my God, every time I ask this question, like these cards go flying out of the deck. We have the Two of Swords, we have the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. The reason why this person can't come towards you is they're in another family situation. Some of you, this person could be married with this Ten of Pentacles. And this is what's causing them to be in this Two of Swords energy. Okay, they need to take the blindfold off in order to see what it is that they want and where they want to be, but they're not doing it. And with this Ace of Swords, I feel like they're trying to bring some sort of clarity to the situation. But like I said, it's not good enough because they're not walking away from this situation. And that's what you require. You require a commitment. You require something solid, stable and grounded. And they can't give you that because of this Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this person may not be happy where they are, but they may be codependent on someone. They may have a lot of history with this person. They may have children together or share a home or an, an apartment. And I feel like um, they may not be the breadwinner there. So we have the star card here. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or you're just, um, you're very hopeful about the situation. You're trying to keep the faith, but you don't see, let's see. Uh, Okay, yeah. The Magician, the Fool. So you have three major arcanas here and you have the Six of Cups. Some of you, it's like this person wants to reconcile with you. If you guys are no longer talking to this person with the Six of Cups, the Fool, and the Magician, somebody feels like you guys can work through this. You may not feel that way. It's like you're trying to stay hopeful though because the Star card is here. So you're trying to keep the faith. But it's like when this person comes to you with this energy... The Two of Swords, that's when you start doubting things because you're like, okay, you're confused. You're not telling me what you want here, but you're wanting me to stay in your life or you're trying to still, you know, keep me around or talk to me or keep me from moving away and dealing with other people, but you're still not telling me what you're going to offer me. So with the Magician card here, 
the universe is saying you and this person you have everything you need to make this work and i see a new beginning here with the full card but i'm wondering if this new beginning is going to be with someone else because we have the six of cups here which is reconciliation so someone wanting to come back around someone rip reminiscing about the past some of you could be dealing with an aries or a gemini but even though this person is coming back with the six of cups i feel like you have new or you have a um you have an option to date someone new but you're just not sure if you want to move away from this other person just yet or maybe this other person keeps showing up and so you're not sure if you want to leave it all behind spirit oh. Okay, right before I ask the question, we have the moon card. So somebody's being secretive here. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces for sure. With the hangman, the moon card. And they're being secretive. It's like they're keeping something to themselves. I feel like they don't want to tell you what it is because they feel like if they tell you that you're going to walk away. What is this? The Knight of Wands. So this person keeps rushing in, but they're still being secretive. I feel like for some of you, you're asking this person questions about like what it is that they're doing. You know what I'm also picking up on, Capricorn? Some of you don't know who this person lives with. It's like you don't know what they're about. You don't know their life. You don't know what they do from day to day. For some of you, this could be an online connection where you met this person online. You're talking to them. You're waiting for them to open up, and this person is being secretive. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And when you try to talk to them and get them to open up and tell you what's going on with them, they shut down. Okay, and this is not everyone's message, but I'm picking up this message for someone. But they keep rushing in. They keep rushing towards you with the Knight of Wands with a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry, you know, very charismatic, very loving. <laughs> but they won't, it's like they have a lot of secrets. They won't open up about who they are, what they want, you know, um, what's going on with their life. Spirit, what does Capricorn person want them to know? All right, so we have the Queen of Swords. We have the Hierophant. Oh, and we have the Temperance. All right, so some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Taurus. The Queen of Swords is right in the middle. I feel like if this person doesn't come towards you with what you want, you're going to cut them off. And this is either you either cut them off already or this is what you plan on doing. I feel like you're trying to be patient with the temperance card here and you're trying to balance things out. But if this person doesn't come in with a commitment or something, something stable where you can see where things are going, if this person doesn't let you know what their intentions are, I see you guys cutting them off with the Queen of Swords energy here. Some of you could definitely be dealing with um, an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius here. But I feel more so with that Queen of Swords that it's like you're not playing games with this person anymore. Yeah, you know what you want. You're coming up in the Queen of Wands energy. We have the Four of Wands and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, so you're very guarded with this Four of Wands energy. It's like you're looking for stability and you're not going to take anything less. You're coming up in the Queen of Wands energy. So it's like you know what you want. You have goals, ambitions. It's like if this person doesn't step up to the plate, you're going to walk away from them because you're already guarded with the Nine of Wands. You feel like you've been through enough with this person to where as though they can come in and offer you whatever it is that you're asking for, whatever it is that you require from them. I feel like some of you have been with this person for years and you still can't get them to commit. And you've like, you're like, I've given you years. Like, I don't know what else you want. But that's not their problem. I feel like the problem is this person doesn't want to give up someone else that they're dealing with. Or um, they can't. You know what I'm also picking up on to Capricorns that whoever you're dealing with, it's like they're not telling you everything about the situation. That was too many cards. They're not telling you everything about this situation. That's the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. And you know what? I was about to say something about this Nine of Pentacles as well. I feel like the conflict here, because the Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck, the conflict here is that this person sees you as the Nine of Pentacles, right? So they see that you have a lot going on for you somebody feels like they don't measure up someone feels like they can't meet your needs or they won't be able to take care of you or meet your standards it's like whoever they're living with this person may have a better job pay most of the bills or i don't know it's something where they're codependent on someone else and it's like if they were to come towards you and commit to you 
you would find out the real truth about this person at five of wands and i feel like this person is conflicted or it, there would be conflict here because you're thinking one thing and i think it's like totally different from what you're thinking about this person so we have the six of wands and the chariot yeah i feel like somebody actually wants to move forward with you someone wants a victory so maybe you could be dealing with the cancer with the chariot with the six of wands we have um fire energy aries leo sagittarius Somebody wants to move forward with you, but they're not being honest about what they really have going on. It's like behind the scenes, this person may not, it's like their finances may not be in order. And they feel like in order to come towards you, like they need to have a good job or they need to make more, uh, make more money or something. They just feel like they can't take care of you. And I feel like they, it's like they make you think that they have it all together behind closed doors but they really don't and they're afraid to tell you that so they hide a lot from you all right let's pull some more spirit what does capricorn's person want them to know okay every time i say that like all these cards come flying out like your person wants you to know something but they're not talking <laughs> so it's like what do you want them to know but you're not telling them so i feel like you're asking somebody something but they're not talking all right, so all four of these cards flew out of the deck. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Like I'm, I'm telling you, with the Knight of Pentacles, somebody is moving extremely slow, but they want to offer you something. We have the Knight of Cups here and the Wheel of Fortune. I see that there's going to be changes. Th things are going to um, turn around or something because this is... Um, the Wheel of Fortune is a turn of events so something like the way something is now it's not going to remain this way because i feel like this person is afraid to lose you so it's either they're going to get on board because they're thinking about it now with the four of swords okay they're resting they're healing they're doing a lot of thinking about this connection they're coming towards you slow but the night yeah the knight of pentacles is the slowest moving energy in the tarot world but whenever the um, knight of pentacles comes in they have like this stable offer because they've had so much time to think about it because they they've been moving so slow and then we have the knight of cups here so somebody is going to offer you something i don't know if you're going to take it though some of you it's like it may be too late for this person or if they don't come in and offer you the right thing, it's going to be too late. It's like, you're going to be like, you know what? You took all of this time with the Knight of Pentacles and this is what you offer me? <laughs> like, I don't know. I just feel like some of you, that's going to be your attitude. Because I feel like if it's anything less than a commitment, it's like you're not going for it. Because you've spent enough of your time. You feel like you've wasted enough time with this person. And you don't, it's like some of you, you're like, I don't want to be your girlfriend anymore. I don't want to be your boyfriend anymore. Like, either we're going to move things forward or I'm going to move away from you. So those are the messages that I have for your bonus love and relationship reading. I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.